hi my lovely people i hope you are all doing great in today's video i'm going to show you how to migrate or fully transfer your windows operating system with its or personal data and applications to another drive without losing your windows license and any data you can do this from your mechanical hard drive to ssd or ssd to hard drive but one thing for sure if you have an old and slow laptop or pc and you wish to improve its performance and speed then I will encourage you to replace your mechanical hard drive with an SSD. This tutorial demonstrates the exact process. So to begin, these are what you might need for the process. A star screwdriver to disassemble the laptop drive cover. An SSD or hard drive. A SATA adapter cable or an external drive SATA casing. You will find a link down in the description below in case you want to purchase any. This is the SSD we will migrate our operating system and its files on. We can use the USB SATA cable to connect it to our laptop or PC. Or use this SATA drive casing. We will use this for the demonstration. But please note, each of them gives the exact same results. From there, connect your drive to your laptop or PC. After, come to this website and download Mini Partition Wizard 10. I will leave the download link in the description below. After quickly install the software as demonstrated in the video. After come to your drives. This C drive is your system drive that contains the Windows operating system. And the other drive in this case is the connected or targeted drive that we will migrate the operating system and its data onto. After our next step is to start the migration process. So I'll run the mini partition wizard from the desktop. And click yes. Then choose mini tool partition wizard free. Now you can see the two drives are present here. The DIX1 and DIX2. Now we are going to start the migration process. After click on Migrate OS to SSD or Hard Drive. Now here there are two options. The first option will migrate your pretty system as well as your drive partitions from your old drive to your new drive. While the second option will only migrate the partition with your operating system to your new drive. Please note that both option A and B will still keep the original information available on the system disk after migration is completed. This means that you can still access all your information from the old drive at any time you connect it to any computer. Now here, I will choose option A. So I will click next. Here we are migrating from disk 1 to disk 2. So I will select disk 2 and click next. Now, you'll be told all information on the new or connected drive will be destroyed. So if you have any data on the new drive, then copy your data first and come back and proceed. If not, then click yes. Now here there are two copy options. One, fit partition to an entire disk and two, copy partition without resize. Here I will suggest you choose the first one and click next. Here also it says that to boot from the new disk, please configure computer BIOS settings. Make sure the new disk is configured as the default boot disk. This means that after the migration process is completed and you have applied all the changes and Windows is unable to boot from the new drive, then you need to go into your computer BIOS settings and set the new disk as the default boot disk. So for an example, from this BIOS settings, you can see that the hard disk or SSD is the second on the list after the USB. You just have to ensure that at the boot order or boot sequence or boot priority, 
you set your hard drive or SSD as the first or second boot device on the list. This is the easiest way to solve boot problems. After click finish, then after everything we click on apply to effect the changes. And when you get this prompt, then please kindly close any other running applications and click on yes. After wait patiently for the process to complete. In case you get this message and it requires you to restart your PC, then click on restart. This will take some time depending on the size of your data and the speed of your PC. Also, if you have a USB 3.0 port, then I will suggest you use it. This will fasten the process compared to a USB 2.0. Now, the Windows migrating process is completed, so I need to replace the new SSD of 480GB with a mechanical hard drive. So here, I open the hard drive compartment bay. This actually depends on your computer model. From there, I'll just replace the hard drive with the SSD we successfully transferred our operating system and data onto. After I close the compartment bay and tighten all available screws. Now let me turn the laptop on and wait for it to get to Windows. As you can see all the informations are present. Now let me check my license. As you can see Windows is also activated. So that brings us to the end of today's tutorial. If you got some value from this, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more amazing tutorials. Thanks for watching, have a good night and I'll see you in the next one.